Hey guys, what's up? Packside Gaming here. So we're working on a couple of trophies for Uncharted Lost Legacy, alright? The first one's going to be a silver trophy, and it's for actually stealth takedown of 15 enemies in a row. It's a little more difficult just because they are in a row. We're also working on the one where you have to stealth take down 10 armored enemies uh, with melee by first removing their helmet without being detected. So... Those are the guys in the big blue armored suits, all right, and that is a bronze trophy, but we're going to be working on both of those right now. And in any given situation, at least for the tip of the hat one, you could always just restart, okay? So you could restart checkpoint, restart encounter, and you would be able to just do this over and over again because it is uh, cumulative. It, it is not in a row as just the wind requires, all right? So 15 enemies in a row is the silver, and that's why it's silver. So I tried this on a previous chapter. Uh, if you could recall, there was a chapter where there were several pillars that you had to hang from and swing to and from, and some balconies in kind of a waterfall area. So I tried it there, uh, if, you, if you even have any idea what I'm talking about. And I tried it several times there, and I just could not get it to go, all right? So they just kept detecting me, and it got really, really frustrating. So in this instance, I saw where uh, Sam actually says over and over again, spoiler alert, Sam is back. Sam says over and over again, there must be dozens of guys down there. And I was like, okay, well, I only need 15. Let me give it a go this time, all right? So... I'm working on the stealth takedown. As you can see, I'm doing pretty well so far. We're probably going to fast forward through a lot of this because I go pretty slow. But the point that I need to make that I need to emphasize is even if you get detected, you could still run around and hide until they lose you again and then start again. Okay, so if you, uh, for instance, I've already taken down a few people. If I got detected, I could just hide. I could run around and hide and then I could go again right so i've taken down three or four guys and then it would start from there five six seven eight okay the same could be said for skipping ahead in the game as well all right so not only is a time lapse in one particular area okay uh, a time lapse through the game is okay so actually what i do here is i take out all these enemies stealth like stealthy like right and what ends up happening is i run out of bad guys so I have to shoot down the helicopter with the rocket, right? And then climb up that. And then I have to drive through and I have to knock over some motorcycles along the way. And then I eventually get to the train, all right? And so there's a lot of spoilers here, but I'm sure if you've gotten this far, then you understand. So I make it to the train and then I actually encounter enemies again on foot. And that's where I actually receive the trophy. So as long as you're not shooting guys or meleeing them if they've detected you, you have to still take them out, but you could still manage to do this through a time lapse of the game or if they uh, encounter you or anything like that, all right, or detect you. But I also actually really like this area too because of all of the vegetation that you can hide in, all of the plants and everything, right? And for some reason you can hide in these little bushes and the helicopter doesn't see you, so that's really awesome. Uh, so this was the easiest place for me to do this, all right? We're going to fast forward to the actual train after I've taken out all of these enemies. We're going to fast forward to the train where I actually pop the trophy, and I'll show you what that looks like, all right? But just be aware, you could start here, you can shoot down the helicopter, like I said, you can go through the whole uh, cinematic motion of driving the Jeep and knocking down all of the, uh, the motorcyclists and everything, and just be aware don't take out any enemies by gun or melee, okay? And then you'll be fine. So I've run out of bad guys. I'm going to take out this helicopter here. We're going to initiate the cutscene with the horn, or the tusk, rather. And we're going to get into our Jeep. We're going to go through a bunch of motorcyclists and that whole sequence. Now we're on the train, and we've encountered foot soldiers again. So I haven't killed anybody with a gun or regular melee uh, since I took out all of those other guys where the helicopter was, all right? So now we're going to start stealth takedowns again, all right? And then I believe I'm at 14 at this point. All I need is one more, okay? But as I mentioned before, so, uh, yep, the trophy should pop. There it goes. The Just the Win Silver Trophy, 2.2% of people have this. So it is still an ultra-rare trophy. 
And as I mentioned before, uh, as far as the tip of the hat stealth takedown one goes, uh, there is this instance here, as you can see. Uh, there is an armored guy there. We have to take off his helmet. So you could restart this checkpoint. You could restart the checkpoint of the other area that we were just in. Either way, it's really up to you. But hopefully it's helped you guys out. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.